Oh, now recording. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Riley, what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah, Riley, like, we're getting ready to do the show. Like, you're saying you wanted to take the night off. And, <laughs> and now you're fucking here. So what the fuck is going on here? This yeah. is the cold open, by the way. Like, everyone, like, listening, Riley was like, I went to the show. I was so cops instead. Oh, 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 oh. And, you know, we gave him the night to suck some dick. And now he's fucking here. I, are you done already? <laughs> yeah, what are Oops. you, Riley? The one-pump chump or something? Oh, like, what's folks. going on here? Oh. I mean, you said you were going to, like, line up four guys in front of you and make, like, a fucking circus seal. What's going on? <laughs> folks, my issue, which we'll be discussing later in the evening, is uh, FOMO. Uh, but for now... Welcome, folks, to the Issue Crew. It's the podcast where we all have issues, both with our lives so and much. with each other. Of course, everybody, it's the Issue Crew. It's the show that you know. So let's go. That's what I'm saying. I'm your host, Riley. Of course, joined by a wacky <laughs> cast of characters, as usual, Kang. God, this motherfucker. We had the we had a whole bit planned. We were going in yeah. for a cold open, and this motherfucker just sweeps the rug right under us. Yeah, I'm, melt- I'm melting your cold open, bitch. Get fucked. Yeah, he does this every single time too. Like he goes, I don't want to do this, goodbye. And then, like five minutes later, sometimes less, he's back. God, <laughs> so damn it, true. Riley. Uh, of course, we are also joined by Mo Side Gaming. Mo side gaming more than meets the eye. You guys, I'm seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> and is random Kendor here? He's muted, so I don't know. Yes, sir. What up? Um, and joining us also, because I forgot to take the guest roll away from him, but you know what? The live and let live. Hey, Warficus, what's up? Uh oh. Warf, your, your mic might be fucked, buddy. You're lighting up, but we ain't hearing nothing. I oh, think he... I uh, I have to mute it, unmute it physically. I, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I came here when everyone was shitting on you, and that's the only reason I didn't leave. So <laughs> I, I'm at, I'm Warficus. You can find me at True Warficus on Twitter. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, know, God, fucking... I, I was hoping everyone was just going to no show because I just found out. That there's a new fucking pizza buffet place five minutes away from me. I don't know if you guys know this chain. It's kind of a Texas thing. But it's called Mr. Getty's. And apparently a few weeks ago, we just had one opening up in my area. So I'm like, dude, it's pizza, salad, and spaghetti, and video games. It's kind of like a poor man's Dave and Buster's. But pretty fucking good. I I have some fond memories of uh, Mr. Getty's as a child. A little Bro. nino. I hate you Texans. All of you Texans do this. We I... have a Texas thing, and then it's like the coolest thing ever, and we don't get it. Oh, really? What state do you live in without doxing yourself too much? Uh, I can't say. <laughs> oh, okay, from parts unknown? I am parts unknown. Okay, they got, some good... they got some good... They got some good... I just yeah, wanted yeah. to say, like, when Warficus was, like, trying to speak and the only thing lighting up was him, he was speaking in sign language. That's what I, uh, just yeah. wanted to say. Yeah, I was just communicating to you guys through uh, beeps. Do you think people can sign language in an accent? Yes. <laughs> like, do you, think, like, like, you just gotta jiggle your hands around a little bit. No, no, no. There's been studies done on this. Like different people from different cultures sign language in different accents. It's crazy. Did How you the know... hell does that even work? Uh, Did you? It does. Sorry. Uh, sure, check this trust out, me, bro. Check this out. Real quick, Mo, before we check it out, uh, your mic is like weird. Is anybody else noticing this? Like the gain is off. So, what do you mean the gain's off? 
Like you sound very ba- like you sound like you're blowing your mic out essentially. Yeah, you do oh, sound fuck. like you sound like you're going more and more robotic. It didn't sound too terrible, so I didn't want to interrupt your uh-huh. previous story, but before you go into another rant, we're gonna need some 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 troubleshooting yeah, here. Next time here, tell me because like I'll yeah, it's fucking blown out. I had no idea. No, I, right. I just noticed that Riley said it. it. We could have got a whole show if he said nothing. Yeah, that would have been fucking embarrassing because people have sounded audio worse lo- on the show. Don't worry, we had Kathy out here for a while with her fucking oh. inbuilt laptop mic. <laughs> yeah, my Those my are good uh, episodes though. You know? That's true. The, my you know, uh, the quality doesn't matter if the quality of person's great. Yeah, my mic levels on my OBS are just showing normal, but, you know, maybe I wasn't paying too much attention also. All right, does this sound better? Yes, you sound beautiful. Now tell us what you were going to say. All right, so get this. I, I This is a random Google fact that I learned like a couple of years ago. Did you know that fucking cows moo in an accent? Like the cows that moo here in America? moo differently in fucking britain and china and all that they have an a- they have a regional accent yes i have seen like the most normie like news sites say this i just thought that was <laughs> no- norm diggity that's what they call him don't ever fucking call me that again i'll destroy you were you trying to go like norm right. mcdonald with that what, Kang? You walked, like, eight feet away from your mic. Were you trying to go with, like, Norm MacDonald trying to say that? No, I was trying to call him a normie. Uh, God, Norm don't even Moke say Donald. that. I need, I need to challenge the, the, cow, the cow accent allegations. The only way they could find that out is if they take a British cow and then just transport it to America and see if it learns how to move America. Otherwise, it could be genetic. I have no idea. Like, I, I that was just some random factoid. I, I don't really have like specifics on it. I mean, I guess they can but do Rand, Random's here to fucking debunk your claims about cows. It, no, it's not my claim. It's not my yeah, claim. It's fucking right. Google's. It, it's Google. Google said it, not me. Uh, fucking mainstream outlets have been saying that for like ten years now. The southern Boom. cows go, moo. Moo, motherfucker. And they're always strapped. It's hard moo, to get them in the hamburgers. Moo, mother, bitch. Moo, moo <laughs> fuck Biden, bitch. That's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, folks, last week we talked about bad Dragon Ball opinions, too many creeps making anime, and Riley had a lot of bad dragons. Hungry. No bad dragons from me on my Riley, side. Riley does sound like a bad dragon type of dude. Yeah, he really is. Bad dragon dildos? <laughs> yes, Riley. Thank you. Yes, thank Kang, you. That was the joke, you Kang. The bit. Thank you for explaining the bit to the P. Thank you. What? Like this whole bit we've set up for two days and you just say it. Yeah, Kang's just like, oh, you mean like the dildo? And just like it completely <laughs> gives away the goat. <laughs> The dildo for anal sex during masturbation? The one I have on my desk? Yeah. <laughs> no fucking <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so we have a tie. Uh, so bad Dragon Ball opinions and too many creeps making anime both got a vote. Uh, so, Mo Diggity, you weren't here last yes. week. What do you think wins? All right, w- w- which is it again? Bad dragons uh, and your uh, addiction to them and what? No, ba- bad Dragon Ball opinions and too many creeps making anime. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Dragon Ball uh, thingy. Let's go, even though that issue was kind of about you a little bit, but you still voted for it, so let's go. What the fuck? <laughs> you have Why some bad it? dragon opinions. Your mama has some fucking bad DBZ fucking we had a, we, That argument, I lost all respect for you as a Dragon Ball fan when we had Suck the my Dragon dick. Ball Suck isn't my deep dick. argument. Suck my... No, because it's fucking it's really not. It, no, it's, it's crazy. It's not it's that so deep. deep. It's, it's not so that deep. deep. No, it's Dragon, no, no, it's no, dragon no. Ball. This is Yo. a bad dragon. What you are saying is a bad dragon, It's, it's, okay? an, it's an awful dragon, I would even say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
it, you know, I, I love Dragon Ball Z, Super, you know, even more, most aspects of GT, but it's just, it's just not a deep anime. It, it's fine that it's not deep, though. It doesn't have to be. But it's so deep. Like, it's not. No, you know, no, like, what, what, the, what the depth is level... there during the fucking Cell games and Nothing. stuff? Nothing. You know, who okay. cares? Okay, but that's Wait, the, the depth of the Cell games is that Gohan has to, like, fucking... Re- Gohan has to reject who he is to rise up against Cell, and like Goku has to understand how he fucked up. He ends up making the decision to sacrifice his life for okay. the Earth. Okay, the, like, big, the big argument like, here, though, is Mo, no matter what you think, Riley's opinion can also be considered a bad Dragon Ball opinion. So, okay, no, 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 the no. issue is still Fred, My friend, my friend, you can't say bad Dragon Ball. Okay, we have established that a bad Dragon Ball opinion is a bad dragon. Yeah, so that's the that's the shorthand that we must have. For. <laughs> well, it's all good. Well, we we don't have all night to talk about you know like this. So let's just go ahead and move on before we start well, really <laughs> arguing. Yeah, we, we can go. For, well, I we have all night to talk about whatever we want. No, really? I got a minimum of two hours that I'm going to go eat. Yeah, oh, you want to go? You want to do a separate podcast after this where we argue for ten hours? Oh God, not for ten hours. I might style start a live stream after this, but I don't know. Let's see how froggy I feel. <laughs> you want to go eat pizza or some shit? No, it'll be too late to go eat pizza now. I'm doing this fucking show. Deep pizza. All right, what Bad fucking drag. issue one? We are. We just established what issue one. Kang, fucking tune in. We're already done with that part. <laughs> Ugh, God damn it! We Riley. finished that part. Don't fucking rush me. We're doing a show here, okay? It doesn't have to be fucking tight ship. Fucking we get to the issues right away. We don't have to be fucking militants, okay? You bitches. You fucking fun police coming in. Wee woo wee woo wee woo. I mean, just stop right there, fun police. I mean, before you joined in, we had a great fucking idea for a cold open, but. Well, that you should have made that clearer to me. It's all good. You know, it should have been, been like, shut good. up, Riley. Right, you should have just yelled, done. shut up, Riley, we're doing a thing, and then I would have shut up, and you could have went. Well, I mean, like, we honestly thought you were taking the night off. That was initially the intent, yes. And the reason, the reason why that did not happen, folks, is my issue for the evening. I'm going to lead us in uh, with, with an issue that plagues my life constantly. Um, Erectile me, uh, dysfunction? Broken uh, chairs? No problems with that. Uh, the Very many problems with that, Kang, but that's not what we're talking about. Um, <laughs> my issue is, of course, podcast FOMO. It's this fucking disease that I have where if a podcast is happening and I can be a part of it, I want to be a part of it. And if it exists without me, even if I'm like, man, you know, I'm just kind of having like a like a night where I'm not really feeling like going on air. Like I just kind of want to chill. Maybe go to bed a little early. I've been getting a lot of sleep lately. Um, and then I leave the call and I leave the boys to do what they do. And then those bots join and I'm like, there's a podcast happening right now that I have full rights to be on. And I feel the gravitational pull pulling me in. And then, you know, any, any plans I had maybe to, you know, just relax in my bed, enjoy some nice podcasts, you know, smoke, maybe listen to some music too. mix things up. I'm listening to music lately. Uh, you know, just, just, just really hang out and have a good night. But then a podcast is happening and my, my fucking brain worms will not allow me to do anything else. You know, Riley, uh, because you forgot to take the role away from me to be in here. That's why I'm here. It it was the FOMO. Let's be real. Yeah. I just want to be a part of this. I fucking love this <laughs> Hashtag show. blame the FOMO. You know what? Fuck my issue. I have a great issue later. Fuck it. Don't vote for it. Vote for this. This is great. This is true. <laughs> it's so real. Just to, like, see it happening. It's too real. You just want to be, like... If if you are a viewer of this, just like make a podcast and get some friends involved and watch how they all come into the show. No matter what. 
Um, you see, unfortunately, some of them develop the podcast FOMO, some of them don't. And then, oh yeah, and then those are the people that you liked, and then they're gone. Well, it's like, well, shit. well, that's the po- podcast homo, and we don't talk about podcast homos. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we talk about Riley all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, <laughs> boom! Fuck it. Oof. It's wild how much like the the cast of the show has shifted. I wonder. I wonder if how much it'll evolve anymore before it burns the ground inevitably what do you mean you could keep this shit going forever what do you oh yeah about? fucking nine more seasons morty nine more seasons you just keep doing auditions eventually someone will join and talk to you how are the what's your let's let's get meta let's get fucking behind the scenes for a minute <laughs> mo diggity i want to ask you you know you're you've been with me not since the very beginning, but pretty close. Um, the one who's been with me since the very beginning only shows up once a month now, so that's cool of him. Thanks, Andrew. Um, so, so Mo Diggity is the, the closest ally that assists me the most often. Your greatest um, I'm, ally. I'm my greatest ally. How are you? What's your temperature on this show right now? How are you feeling about the issue crew? Do you feel, do you feel the end times in the near future, or do you think we're in a, we're in a good spot? I mean, it's fine. I I enjoy doing the show. I mean, you're the fucking head guy, so you you call time and you know time and cause of death. You know, at, at any time you feel like. I, I don't really give a damn. Honestly. Well, but but, the, but it's for, the feelings of the rest are, of course, a part. Of, I don't think I'm going to call it anytime soon. Like the kind of, I believe this is eighty six, and like part of me is like, if I'm going to end it, it should be at a hundred. So like that's why it's kind of in my head again. But, like, I, I don't think I see reason to end it. Um, but, you know, I just want to check the temperature because, you know, we were around this point in uh, Largest Issue um, and people were, like, fucking done. Like, if you, <laughs> last, last time I was taking your temperature around this time, it was uh, we wanted to do a few more episodes to hit 108. And you were like, eh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I could be on seven more largest issue episodes. <laughs> oh, because like you know, like I hated the fact that we're going to end on such a weird fucking number. And I'm all like, bro, l- let's just fucking end on 100. That way, it's cool. <laughs> and that I was mean, wor- I that was worth gonna... bump- that was worth not getting Dick Masterson to you to end at an even number. <laughs> well, I don't- thinking you know like unlike you i don't think about dick constantly you know but But that was already the play Uh, that was why because uh i went on shit riley you gotta respond wait to what that disc which disc (laughs) (laughs) which disc do i need to address all the time the dick you know oh yeah i I mean dick masterson's my favorite comedian and i consume comedy all the time so it's like yeah, he's he's on my mind pretty often because he's in my ears you, pretty you love often. Him. You love mm-hmm. him. You want to marry him. You, you could say I love Dick. I need Dick, and I've gotten it. Is what you do. Your ears. <laughs> you know, I'm building a you know I'm building a media empire called Cock, and I'm always thinking about getting Dick on. You know. Yeah, get 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 Dick on Cock. It'd be pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, God, but no, that was, uh, I went on, I called into Trixie stream and I mentioned that we were ending largest issue at a hundred. Um, and it was Trixie and Riley was there also. Um, and they were both like, what are you fucking talking about? You're going to do a whole biggest problem ripoff show for a hundred episodes and not go to one Oh eight and get Dick Masterson on. And I was like, shit. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and I would love to like, get to end it and have dick on here i don't know if i'm gonna ask him again because i do not think he had a good time on largest issue (laughs) it was it seemed like it was a pretty boring experience for him really really he took your call for anyone anyone to come onto your podcast and here i am dick wants this dick wants you (laughs) does he this is wants you and you want dick this is Look, this is this is worth like trying to cultivate no, my no, no, personal no, Riley, relationship. Riley, Riley, just call into Dick Show more. He fuck. He is desperate for anyone interesting to call in. Do you have he any? Said, he idea? said I can't call in at the same weight. No, no, no. I had to lose weight before I could call in. Good, 
lose weight. That's his fucking gimmick. But his whole thing is he needs interesting people to call in. And let me tell you, most of the people are not as interesting as you, Riley. Just call, <laughs> just like lose some weight and call in. Fucking beat his fucking game. Beat his, beat his dick, game. Riley. Beat yeah, his beat dick. Beat his dick. Jesus. What makes me interesting to you? <laughs> you interesting to me is uh you're running all these podcasts you're genuinely funny and uh like 10 people are watching more people need to be i know <laughs> it'd be great and plus who else gets to talk to a famous comedian like dick Vito, or fucking maddox <laughs> well i've never talked to Vito or maddox if only i could talk to maddox riley we could make maddox mad Think about it. I mean, I've made Maddox mad before. He blocked me on Twitter, personally. <laughs> I said some stuff. That's good. That's good. I yeah, didn't even well, say, now you can, I didn't now even you say can... anything that mean. I'm pretty sure he bit... He blo- I, I made a really dumb tweet that resulted in me... Re- resulted in consequences on two fronts. Um, where I oh, tweeted what? in, like, 2018 or 2019. Well, it must have been 2019. Um, that, like, I was, I, I was a fan of both Maddox and Dick. Um, and Dick called me retarded, and Maddox blocked me. <laughs> so, so that was that was the result of that tweet. It was all vote up monkeys. Vote up monkeys. Vote up monkeys. Report Dick to Patreon. Jack Conti is profiting off of hate. Yeah, you know, like the internet has made me so like cynical and jaded. To every single fucking cause and everything that's fucking out there now. I'm like, dude, I just don't even fucking... I don't even fucking care anymore. Like, just, like, can make it... Just just get it over with. Just make it stop. Like, I don't give a shit. Who cares? It's all fucking stupid. Is it sad that the internet hasn't even made... Like, of all the things to make me jaded, it isn't the internet. It's just the shit that I've been through in my life so far that's made me a bit jaded. Oh, that's that's just normal life right there. Don't worry about that. Nope. That just happens. That that that's how life is. It's probably the it's probably 50/50 on my mental health struggles being the internet versus real life circumstances. I'll say I'd say real life has done more harm to me mentally than the fucking internet. I've gone through life altering character arcs. In these years in the Riley Cinematic Universe podcast factory. <laughs> We're about podcast to go into like factory, dude. a thousand year blood war arc. Yes. I'm going for blood. Go for blood against everybody the who leaves that... the issue crew is dying. I'm coming for Heartsy first, then fucking Kathy is gonna then Demi Gloom. It's gonna All it's right. gonna be the issue crew horror movie arc. <laughs> All right, Riley, but when do I win the audition? I don't know. I have to Look, consult everyone else. Look, we can't have that conversation on air. Yu-Gi-Oh. If I play you in Yu-Gi-Oh and win, can I be in, be in the issue crew? <laughs> I, I, I personally I, think, if, I, Riley, if we're looking for members of the issue crew, dude, we should do a live recruitment tonight. Yeah. I mean, if, exactly. if, if, if Riley, if, if, I'm the only one here. Recruit me. Listen, Okay. I just don't want to go into it impulsively because Andrew always makes fun of me when I don't consult people properly. But well, I, I'm making we, fun we have of you most for of the not crew. recruiting me, Riley. Have, you're you're a dumbass. We have I'm most here. of the. I'm here most, every time. We have most of the crew here right now. So, assuming everyone is in agreement, I'm ready to let you in. But I have a feeling random oh. is uh, is going to do something really funny here. Oh shit. <laughs> Are we in for my occult initiation? Are we gonna summon a demon? Let's see. I have, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Mo and Kang are gonna be pretty lackadaisical and agreeable. But I want to know how Random feels about this. I was uh, tuned out a bit. What's up? War, War, Warficus wants to join our ranks, and I told him it had to be a unanimous decision. He wants to become a member of the crew. I, uh, you know. I don't see, I can't say I necessarily uh, find the humor appealing, but I can't say that for any of the other issue crew members, so we may <laughs> sit right in. 
<laughs> see, see, like, no one actually gives a fuck. But, Riley, I give a fuck. I listen to every episode. I'm always here. Okay, well, I want to make is... you a star, okay? I'm going to put the, the gold star on you. I'm going to tell you a bunch of lies. And you're going to join my cult, okay? If you can hit... <laughs> If you can handle not being in the logo for a month or two while I procrastinate yeah. about <laughs> right. procrastinate about getting an artist, then you're in. <laughs> Do you think I give a fuck? Okay. Anyone listening, this show is so <laughs> fucking fun to be on. It's just arguing and talking about stupid issues. And there's nothing more fun than that. It's a good time. And I guess well, I we're... think we I think we got our member. Right, right. Riley, I'm not, there I'm you not, go, Riley. I'm not gonna lie to you, Riley. This does sound like the origin story for like a super fan joining, and then they'll ultimately kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's gonna be a Selena type situation, Riley. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking ruin you. Whatever happened to the other dude who's uh, auditioning for co-hosting thingies? Uh, Black Fred. I mean, we can discuss him too. Yo, that guy, that guy's great. I'm gonna be real, like, I hated him at first, because he was a rival, and, you know, you have to <laughs> hate him. But, like, if he can find his voice, that guy's got a podcasting talent. He okay, just gotta so, speak up. Just to get us back on track, what issue are we talking about? Podcast FOMO? Podcast FOMO, which just kind of turned into podcast behind baseball. <laughs> You know what? Vote for it. Vote for Riley. Riley wins this episode. I don't give a fuck. My ep- my issue sucks. You know <laughs> you're what? Su- I- you're just sucking my dick because I just let you in. Yeah, I've got a fucking issue. I have no shame, right. Riley. Oh, Kang, I will Kang, do anything. Kang has the fire. Kang wants to go next. All right. I got an issue. Right. Friends who use you for money. Mmm. No, don't call me out. No, this isn't you I'm calling out, buddy. <laughs> this is not you. So, I come from a long line of COD players. Uh, we were in a little group. We had, um, I had wanted to, um, or one of my buddies had wanted a few things from me. So, I, you know, I obliged. I gave him those few things. And then straight up, he fucking ghosts me, leaves me on red, blocks me, and fucking makes me out to look like some sort of bad guy, right? And the funny thing is, he doesn't even have the balls to come talk to me. All right, Kang, we're going to need a little intermission. What do you mean uh, he made you look like the bad guy? Apparently, I manipulate people. Apparently, I'm some sort of monster. I'm some sort of asshole. I'm some sort of shitster. Well. So he, he spread this to, what, a group chat? Or, like, give us a little bit of content. Group chat, good friends, which I probably burnt bridges with. And be honest, when it comes to this drama, I could really give a fucking like shit less about it but what kind of irks me still a little bit is i gave him like 50 dollars towards a video game two games on steam which is like 70 dollars in total i've spent on this kid and i'm just some sort of holly jolly bad guy why'd you do it because he was a good friend <laughs> He was a good friend at the time that I figured I would trust. And well, uh, look at how that came back to bite me in the ass. And the buttocks. But uh, yeah, friends who use you for money. Yeah, and that's my issue. Is that it? Uh, yeah. So every every time this happens, I'm always like, guys, your issues are supposed to be 15 minutes, and you're like, okay, sorry. But then every <laughs> every time you do it again. It was two minutes, Kang. Well, shit, I may not be able to. I, I may not be able to last long on issues, but I can last long on something else, Riley. <laughs> okay, sure. That's a giggity moment. Giggity. But yeah, giggity moment. 
No good issue. I like it. Very good issue. Uh, I'm trying to think of I've ever been used for money. I mean, aren't you used constantly? Like, everyone who's getting on your show is clearly using you for promotion. Hey, 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 Worf, <laughs> shut the fuck up. You don't talk about that. I'm just, I mean... Oh, God, the dead air in this episode. The, the dead air gets cut out, so it's only a problem if you mention it, and then it's just... And then it's, like, a fucking hour of editing for you. I get it. That's what even I mean, it's either. not, because I just put it in a robot and it cuts out all the silence. It's pretty Oh my cool. god. Oh my look, god, you're even the using internet. AI. Internet, look! AI is taking over podcasting! Even Riley's using it! Oh my god, Riley! Why are you, why are you why taking are you away... AI? Wh- why are you taking away jobs from editors, We're Riley? Jobs not... podcasting editors! Yeah, I have another issue! It's not Riley... even AI! <laughs> <laughs> Riley taking away jobs using AI. Real not even jobs AI. at it's this not moment even. are being delivered to AI. Mo, what are your thoughts on this issue? Riley using AI right. to replace people. I mean, I'm just, I'm just disappointed. That, that's, that's <laughs> what it is. That, that's what I am. It's like, not you know, AI. It's a fucking audacity tool that's been around since 2009. It's called Truncate uh, Silence. It's not that complex. Truncate. Truncate Silence. Are you really going to call it Truncate? Yes. <laughs> Are you trying to get Debbie Glenn back? No, no, the, not like that. That's not what it is. Hashtag bring back Demi Gloom. I have like, the, I, Yo, I want to be a better you know, person now. Yeah, you know, Demi Gloom, if you're listening, I have wanted to talk to you for like five or six years. Come <laughs> back. Bradley, you're going <laughs> to die. You're going to die today, bro. You know, you know, Demi Gloom. Listen, why am I gonna I, die today? Random. Wait, what? A, wait, a minute, I want to address that ominous comment. Someone say that, that they want to talk to you for five to six years. They said Demi Gloom, not me. Yeah, uh, Demi Gloom's been a, look. Uh, Demi Gloom's been around on the internet for a very long time. May twenty ninth is going to be an interesting look, day. To who? Look, to me, they, yeah, they've been interesting to me because they're they're, they're they're always how? around, and every time I see them, they're like. They're inhabiting a completely new ideology, but they're still doing the same thing. And I want to know, I want to know what makes Demi Gloom tick, because they're uh, such an interesting character. Yeah, the best way Or if there that, are, right? the, there's like tri- probably triple digits of hours of Riley and Demi Gloom podcast content where you I can I know, get... I'm, I'm trying to dig through it, but Riley, <laughs> like, Riley, stop you know, it, it's hard. It's hard to dig through triple digits of hours. You know what you should do? What? You should, uh, you should get that brain. Yeah. But listen, get Demi. Just have the old Demi Gloom and take their brain. Listen, yeah, so Demi, really if get you into hear what this. Makes take. If you hear this, listen. I'm, I, I've reformed a bit. I, I've changed a bit as a human being. And you kind of helped me see the light a little bit. And I appreciate Kang, it. Kang will become a leftist if you come back on the show. Hey, Demi Gloom. I, I am a I'm going to be a member of this podcast and I take estrogen. You should join back. Okay, never mind. I revoke my vote. I revoke my vote. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I do it for other reasons. Don't worry about it. He would just be Your too vote powerful has been otherwise. He, ta- he takes it to nerf himself. Just that masculine energy would be too much. Yeah, exactly. I wasn't an anti grand comic. Okay, uh, if you guys want to know the real, real reason, uh, certain cities, uh, water, uh, if you were, were born t- uh, with people drinking it, gives you certain conditions that require you to take estrogen. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I'm oh disappointed you didn't say superpowers. I think you might just well, be here to listen more if you be, don't be too peppy. I have superpowers, but they're not they're not publicly known. It depends <laughs> on whether or not you guys can hear the sizzling, uh, if I'm here to listen. Yo, I can't hear any sizzling. I can hear, like, okay, some sort of awesome. noise, but I don't think it's sizzling. <laughs> it, that is the only really thing it possibly right. could be. What'd you say, Random? Keep us on track. 
Keep us on track, okay. Um, new issue. New issue. <laughs> Topic change. Uh, all right, gamers, who's going next? Well, introduce Fucking... this new guy. What'd you say, Random? Introduce the new guy. Oh, yeah, Cap- Captain Blackbread's here, too. Hi, yeah. everyone. Captain Blackbread. Welcome to the program. Howdy. Thanks for having me again, even though I, I, I don't know what I'm doing here or why. Because War- bitch about petty issues. Worf wanted you on. Bro, All right, that's funny. Cool. I like Worf. Bro, you're funny. Just like talk up more. I swear to God, you're awesome. <laughs> and of course, really we difficult. have our we have our super fan here. <laughs> that's me. I'm the super fan. Now a permanent Worf member. Kiss is the, never... the the fan who has joined the band, and you whether or not never I can get rid of me. I am a parasite. I cannot be sopped. Listen, Worf, you you can be fired. It's happened before. Ask Crow Royalty. You can get fired from the issue crew. <laughs> All right, let's let's unpack that. What did what did Crow do? Crow did nothing. Yeah. Well, let's see. Well, tell Crow me. wasn't funny. Oh, it, that's well, that's definitely not, not a, that's, not, that's not a requisite to be here. Yeah, that's not an <laughs> issue for me. I'm I'm always funny. Look, if you're that's just willing to bitch about issues, then I think we're good here. See, see, Riley, I'm a parasite, but I'm a funny parasite, so no one's like, rid of me. Crow is if you took all the annoying traits of Kang and got rid of the part where he's also funny sometimes. Bruh, Kang's never wow. annoying, though. What are you talking about? He, he does I that thing lie. every once in a while where he's like, this is kind of like this other thing that it's really not like at all. I just thought Riley, about it. Riley, that's and the to best part it. of the podcast. What are you to be talking honest. about? Riley, I cannot of... tell the difference between <laughs> Kang, this new guy, and Crow Royalty. This is kind of like the time where I said Jujutsu Kaisen was a pretty good anime. It is. It's, it's new guy? mid. I'm going to be real, it's mid. Nah, I started watching the movie before Riley called us up. <laughs> I gotta know which new guy. No, uh, we're talking about Worf. Oh, oh well. I, I like Worf. I think he's real cool. Yeah, Worf is a pretty cool guy. I hated you, Captain Blackbread. I hated you because you were a rival. But I came to learn you're actually fun to be around, so stay around. Oh, yeah. That's what it's all about. It's all about the friends we make along the way. Heck yeah. So anyways, does anyone have an issue? Cap, are you on a different mic than usual? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a great mic. um, Oh, no. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have you do an issue for us right now. It's a nice drop-in, call-in issue. Wait, did Kang have finish? You, have you yeah, mute for the rest of the program? Yeah, Kang is done. Uh, so Captain okay. Blackbread, hit us with an issue. Okay, all right, all right. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so uh, dropping things into the fourth dimension. You know when you drop something real small, and then you, like, maybe your car keys in the car, and then, or, or maybe a ring, or or really anything, you just fucking, you drop it, gone, forever. You never find it again. Like, I get, usually you find your car keys, maybe you got a tile or something, but it's always small things, like guitar picks, those go missing. Oh, I needed this quarter for something, I don't know. You drop something, it's gone. Just gone forever. It's gone into the fourth dimension. You pack up, you you move your house, you you, you move everything around you, it's gone forever. Things drop into the fourth dimension. Yeah, no, that's the worst thing ever. So many times. Yeah, you basically make a sacrifice to the fourth dimension gods. Yeah, just the like a little portal to hell opens. It just falls in. Yeah, I think the worst the worst part is you lose no matter what. If you think like, oh yeah, I can get in there, I'll go get a coat hanger or something, and really jimmy it up. And then you still don't get it, you're a fucking loser. And then if you just wash your hands and just accept it, then you're a bit of a cop. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, sorry about the microphone thing. I'll pretty much be muted the entire time. I uh, know, no problem. But I wanted to get a, I wanted to get a good issue from you, and this is a, this is a good one. Losing shit is the worst, and having to handle small things um, at any interval is annoying. Uh, so I definitely understand this. This has happened to me many a times. As a as a Nintendo DS gamer, 
This has happened to me a time or two with the stylus. Yes, I've lost many a stylus. Riley, how how can you say that? Well, I guess you're the authority because uh, you handle small things uh, multiple times daily. <laughs> Damn! Wow! Ba 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 like in the, I like, have never, ever held a stylus for more than a week. Except for one. There was one. It was a thumb stylus. And I kept that for years. And I learned how to play DS games with a thumb stylus because I could not keep any other fucking around. <laughs> the thumb stylus for the DS was a godsend because it was big enough that you could find it. Whereas every other stylus would fall into a crack and never be seen again. But the thumb stylus, the thumb stylus couldn't fall into that crack. So you would always find it again. And you would be back to gaming, playing Kirby's, uh, what was it, um, Dream Kingdom? Kirby's That's not a real there. game. No, no, no. Wait, no, it was Kirby's Canvas Curse. That was the game. It was the game I always needed a fucking stylus for, and I never had one. But the thumb stylus, the one you put on your thumb, and you try and fucking work it out, that one was always there. That's fair, yeah. I, I had like five or six DSs throughout my life. DSs, 3DSs, what have you. Um, and yeah, those styluses never last. It's unfortunate. Having to deal, I I can't deal with small shit, bro. It it just gets lost in the sauce. You know what the worst part about a stylus is? What? Like, there was a slot on the DS for it, but the one time you don't put in the slot, it's It's the one time you lose it forever. Over. God, it's over. It's (laughs) Jover. Can I ask a question that's going to make me look like a complete idiot because I say this all the time? Hmm. What exactly, what exactly does Jover mean? What is the exact, what is it, where did it come from? What is the origin of the phrase? It's a Joe I, Biden reference. It, yeah, it's, it's Jover, a, yeah. It's Joe I Biden, thought it, but it's over, so it's Jover. How America's going to be in an, how America's going to be in another four years if Joe yeah, Biden gets elected country, again. Because we elected Joe Biden, but we didn't really, ele- you know, I won't say that. I yeah, let's that. not, let's I not. I won't get you banned, but I'm just saying, <laughs> it's Jover, because Joe Biden. I'm that's pretty sure all, I explained that's all this. That's that means. I'm pretty sure I explained this to a friend of mine wrong a couple of years ago. I was under the impression that it was a Joker thing. No, 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 no. If it was a Joker thing, it would be funny, and more people would be using it. I was under the impression that Jover was but like, like J- Jover was, was like so, was like a way to describe like something that would lead to your Joker moment. No, like well, a maybe, Jover. Like you could, tr- you could, Riley, you could twist it to that and make like the whole fucking world believe that. But as of now, it's really the most depressing thing you could say. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's kind of like the equivalent of giving a Make-A-Wish kid, like, a wish. And then not giving him it. It's kind of like, it's kind of <laughs> like Anakin Skywalker basically, like, basically being told, you can be a part of the council, but we won't give you the rank of Jedi Master. It's kind of <laughs> like, you know, go back to the Make-A-Wish the wi- make thing, it's like, hey, what's your fine, what's your wish? I wish I didn't have fucking cancer. Well, would you want to see John Cena instead? Da, 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 da. No, what if their, what if their wish is uh... too exciting, Mo? No, you see Joe Biden, and he stands over you, and he like pinches your nipple, Just and then you die. Start sniffing you. He sniffs yeah. you. Yeah. What would you tell a kid? Now, let's say hypothetically, <laughs> there was a kid who like he grew up in like a small household. And all he had was, like, you know, like, VHS tapes of, like, old shit. He's not really caught up in, like, 
current news in the entertainment scene, but, you know, he has the movies he likes or whatever. I mean, he's on his make-a-wish deathbed. I mean, he wishes to see, like, a celebrity who's, like, a, a, a real bad guy. Like, like imagine a child. You, you're the make-a-wish foundation worker, right? Oh, um, no. And the child is, like, my my wish, my one wish, the greatest wish is to meet Harvey Weinstein. I love oh, Harvey God. Weinstein. Oh, He's my Riley. favorite guy. I would what like would to hang out with that? Bill Cosby. What would you say to that kid? Or Bill Cosby, that's a good one too. What would you say to that kid? Um, well, if it's Bill Cosby, <laughs> I would just, you know, set it up. Because, you know, Bill Cosby is actually a good guy. You know, at <laughs> the heart. I you know, aside actually, from all the sexual assault and the rape, rape thing, I mean, day, like, you know. look. You know what? I, I guess after all that, he's Mo. okay. Mo, I actually believe Bill Cosby got off scot free, and he did not. Oh, big wrong. time! But, oh no, he no, did. he got off scot well, free, like, but he Epstein, did lots of things wrong. If a kid really wanted to meet Epstein, I would personally dress up in the best old man costume I can. And be like Santa Claus to that kid. Be like, oh, oh, oh I am Epstein. Epstein I am Claus. Epstein. Would you like to join my island? Would you like and to join my island? And then I would give him the full island. experience, whatever that means to whatever who is listening. That's okay? a little. That's uh, a little I don't know. Much. But you know, what? I wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything illegal. Okay. No, no, he's actually talking about Jeffrey Epstein's wife, and what he's referring to is posting on Reddit. No, 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 Riley. Jeffrey Epstein's wife did worse things than Epstein if the court documents are to be believed. Don't say and, that. But she also posted on Reddit all the time, well, apparently. Well, you know, I don't post on Reddit, because Reddit is cringe. Reddit is for porn. <laughs> I mean, like, could I say theoretically, like... My make-a-wish would be to meet R. Kelly. Yo. <laughs> Isn't he, like, kind of... Didn't he mostly get off scot-free? Like, what is our... What, what Hell no, he's in fucking prison, right? No, the consequences no. is his ass is in prison right now. Oh, shit. Uh, I, 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 may be, I, I think I'm confusing R. Kelly with someone else. What did R. Kelly do? Uh, Piss, like, literally pee on minors and have sex with tons of minors and all sorts of really bad shit. Oh, A golden shower for their golden hour. Mm-hmm. And he's been in fucking going to uh, court for that for like a decade. Oh, I think I, like, I I got R. Kelly and Louis C.K. mixed up. I think he mixed them up with Drake. Hey, think of it this way. Make a wish kids like dream wish could be to meet O.J. Simpson because they're going to meet him pretty soon. You know, I would love actually like if I had a make a wish at this point in my life, I would love to meet like any famous murderer and just pick their brain for an hour. These guys are so fucking insane, and just, like, after, like, how many... Are there any famous murderers left? I feel like they're all dead. There's a few, but, like, any one of them, like, after years and years in jail, I would just love to hear what they think about the world. I want to talk to that Mr. Anime guy who killed his family. Warficus is going to be famous soon. Uh, Riley, you might not be around to interview him. Yeah, Riley, Riley, you might be (laughs) careful. I might be famous. I mean, I would want to meet Shoko Azahara. Oh, God, Shoko. Dude, have you seen the weapon he made? Mm-hmm. Dude, that is actually, like, gigabrain shit. You can make a shotgun in a state that does not let you make a shotgun, and that's kind of scary. Oh, that's the guy who shot that former president, right? Yeah, yeah. Who was Dude, actually, that's uh, like, crazy. a really... What's really yeah, fucked Count Dinkula about did that? The mad lads on him. What's really fucked about that is Shoko is very likely a like really deep state plant for things well beyond anything I can talk about. <laughs> Why do you think he's a deep state plant? Well, um, the guy he shot was like trying to save Japan from immigration and all that shit. Which, if you didn't know, Japan was the is currently the only country in the world that uh, rejects immigration of all kinds. And yeah, because yes, itself. it's fucking Japan, man, and, and fucking Joe Biden, stupid asses. Japan's being racist. Right, is on Joe Biden's side of this, and that's all I have to say about it. Shogo Hasahara is on the side of Joe Biden. 
That's it. That's all I have to say without getting us banned. But in Shoko Asahara, the guy who did the uh, religion thing, I think you're thinking of a different guy. Uh, isn't Shoko the Asahara the guy who made the shotgun uh, out of uh, tinsel and whatever uh, propellants he could find? No, that's the religion guy. There was even an anime made uh, hmm. after him. The, I don't remember what the cult was called. Uh, Om Shinrikyo. That, oh, that's shit. Shoko Asahara. You know, that shit's still around. Okay, Om Shinriku oh, yeah. is really funny because when COVID happened, there was a lot of signs that pointed that Om Shinriku was spreading COVID. Um, and no one talks about them anymore. And I'm very interested to see what they've done. So if anyone's watching and knows anything about Om Shinriku, please uh, comment with YouTube videos. Hmm. I mean, if anything, if we were to do another podcast show, Riley, I don't know if it's either me or you, but I would love to have Count Dankula as a fucking guest. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to have fucking... Yeah, you know, I'd love to have fucking, like, God as a guest, you know? Just really pick that guy as a... Like, you're <laughs> asking oh, me to get, like, relax. guests that are He's famous dude on to my fucking years. Riley... No, just relax, tense. man. He's just a dude on the internet, man. Like, I'm sure if you show some courage and some balls and if, DM if I, him, if, he if might I get respond. 10 sec- seconds with Dangula, I would want to know what the fuck happened with UKIP there. Uh, Sargon. Oh, like. Sargon oh. and Medicare really, like, trying to push UKIP, fucking the whole thing up. Oh, no, it wasn't Medicare's fucking fault. Uh, fucking Dankula was doing it sort of as a lark, you know, because he was trying to, like, raise awareness of this and that. But Sargon was super, super invested into it. And he single-handedly... I, I There's a lot of credible evidence to put it, like, almost entirely upon his shoulders. He's sort of the reason why that fucking party is fucking destroyed. He fucking killed a you know, major fucking political party in the UK. I'm and I find that bet. fucking fa- uh, fantastic. I'm willing to bet, because, like, Sargon, that guy does not understand politics despite... Oh, he's him, he, he's a fart huffer for sure. Despite the amount of politics books he's read, he does not get politics. Do you read Locke, mate? Do you read Locke? Well, I, I don't mean, understand Locke, but he'll let me tell you what I think about it. We also say that in a world where not only Sargon of Akkad exists, but also the amazing atheist, if you remember him. Oh, also God, what a, what a fall from funny. That, you know, not, not necessarily grace, but funny. Cause that the guy only was thing I while. think about the amazing atheist is Aiden Paladin yeah. used to be the, like, actual smartest fucking skeptic youtuber only because she was doing like actual thesis statements on on uh what is it uh intellectual papers right and then the amazing atheist dates her and then dumps her and she goes fucking insane what hold on aiden paladin and fucking uh amazing atheist fucking date yeah they they fucked it's this is deep war. I had no I- idea that they were ever in the same room together. That's new to I me. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Look, I could be really wrong. The amount of drama in the last five <laughs> years has been so insane, but I'm pretty sure they were dating at one point. <laughs> well, now I gotta Google this now because now I've got to know. Uh, like, please if, if, Google this. <laughs> And this, Riley, this is why you've added me to your group, Riley. Cause, yeah. Uh, I, I know all the deep lore because I've been in it. I've been in it too deep, and I want out. I've seen some things, man. <laughs> I've seen some shit, and none of it mattered. None of it, because they were all lol cows, Riley. All of them. Every all lol cows I watched, the whole time. They were all lol cows. All of us. Riley, you... You are a lol cow, soon to be me. I, I am a lol cow, Riley. Don't We're you all lol cows it? deep inside. Think, deep Riley. Inside, think. All of us is the lol cow waiting to be bored. Not me. It's a beautiful tale. Yeah, no, random candor is too 
epic for that. Yeah, Red is never going to be a log cow. That guy mutes on a fucking podcast stream. How could he ever be a log cow? Now, I'm thinking I might have to tap out of this one a little early, folks. I can feel the consciousness slipping, but I can't I can't in good conscience head to bed without hearing a certified random Candor classic issue, because those are such rare treats that I gotta hear them all. So, random Candor, please regale us with your issue tonight. Do it. My issue... Well... Thank you for giving me the floor, Mr. Riley. Always appreciated. Love working with you. So, there is a tale, and I know you nerds, you shut-ins, you lack of grass touchers might not be aware, but there is a war going on against oh, shit. BBL, Drizzy, and Kendra Lamar <laughs> right there in the real in the real world. You know, my issue is that there are people that are so compromised by their fandom that they cannot accept fake. So, uh, I guess, change this to something more understandable. What they're, what the Drake fans are doing is in face of a inevitable loss, all of the allegations, including some, some nonce shit, as you guys would say, is uh, to simply say that he's winning anyways and just push through. I'm sure anime community has the same kind of uh, thing where they're like, oh, you know, One Piece is better than Naruto even though Naruto is clearly superior. And they just can't see the truth. They can't see the truth they, they beyond their own bias. The truth. And that's what's uh, really getting my goat today, Riley. The fact that some some fandoms are basically impervious to facts and logic and real reality, and they will just defend their hero to the death. You can see it with creators a lot. People, if they get allegations on them, sure, there's the more often, like, hate mob, but there will be some people who just like, oh, oh well, uh, it's not even that bad, or, uh, well, he's changed, or, uh, uh, well, maybe I should do that, too, so that I, I don't think it's weird, you know, I'd change the difference. No. Truth is the truth. Facts are the facts. If you can't see them, you can't change your opinion with new information, then you're already dead. You know, every single interaction I've had online has been this. My god. Fuck you, Riley. Your problem is shit. This is the problem of the internet. Every <laughs> time there is a fandom, there is some asshole who will defend the most indefensible shit to the death because he likes the product. Cough, cough, Nintendo fan voice. Cough, cough. Dude, it's not just Nintendo fan voice. It's, like, name product here. There will be a guy, if you say anything, anything derisive to it, who will be in your fucking DMs and in your comments just fucking hours and hours of hours of paragraphs of nonsense of why you are wrong and the product is okay. It's it's insane. It never stops either. These guys never stop. They just like I don't even know where they come from. They're just always there. What was the last one? I wasn't here for that. Uh Bad Dragon issues won the last one. <laughs> Alright, random, what's the name of that cool. issue? Delusional fans. Delusional fans. Alright. I know Look, folks. I know I no one. A- Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. I know no one else had anything to say about that problem, but delusional fans is the biggest problem on the entire internet. And if you do not vote this up, I hate you. Forever. No, it is real as shit. It's true. I didn't have much to add, because it kind of speaks for itself. There are delusional fans everywhere. They walk among us. They They're always truly there. They do. Yep. But all right, I'm going to turn the keys for the remainder of the night uh, to Mo Diggity. It's become clear, clear that I'm too sleepy to drive, <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop out. Uh, tell Mo Diggity he's in charge when he gets back. He might still be in the bathroom. So Riley, sleep in the fucking podcast. You might hear something. No, because last time I did that, people said I was cringe. No, you're not cringe. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to him. He wants to hear you snore. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, he just wants me to ruin the podcast. I'm boring. into this. You know, no, this is no, my no. Fetish. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so who's got another issue? Okay. Well, good night. Good night, everybody. War, welcome to the crew. Appreciate it. I bid you adieu. Okay, I got a real issue. A real, a real fucking issue. Make sure you guys write them down in the chat so I don't miss them. Okay. Yeah. This is toil, toilet pamper, toilet paper f- shrinkflation. Every time I buy toilet paper, every fucking time, there is less toilet paper. I got a house of four people, and in a single day, a roll will be gone. It is so fucking bad that every day we are asking ourselves, do we need to buy more toilet paper? Because, my fucking god, a single roll lasts a day. There is maybe 20 sheets in that, but they have so perfectly rolled it, so it looks like 20 sheets is a thousand. And a fucking few months ago, it was a thousand. Oh, that's uh, that's kind of how toilet paper math works. You ever look at that? 8 equals 24, you fucking dipshit. Well, I feel like a dipshit buying this shit. But, you know, I don't have enough money to buy a Japanese toilet. Which I'm going to do eventually because of this shit. But uh, until then, it's toilet paper. And every time I buy toilet paper, I'm getting less toilet paper. Gotta put your butthole on the faucet, man. And then just uh, turn it on. You know, you know, I'm thinking about it at this point. I'm I'm serious. Twenty fucking sheets. These companies roll twenty sheets to look like what used to be a hundred, and they are so good at hiding how fucked they've become that like you can't even notice how bad it is. Fuck this shit. That's my problem. I'm sorry. Issue. We're not biggest problem. Mm-hmm. So, any more issues we have here? No, do you have an issue? Uh, yeah, I have an issue. Oh. I would probably say my issue is podcast burnout. Oh, God. You really waited till O'Reilly left, huh? (laughs) So... We all, we all as podcasters, um, we come together once in every week, and we basically we try to come up with some issues, right? It's like I feel like trying to come up with issues to think of that, like I rarely have to deal with, and like. I'm sure many of other people have to deal with. I feel like it kind of, it drives you nuts a little bit. Doesn't it? Doesn't it, gentlemen? Not at all, but I'm new here. Oh, I don't podcast often enough, so I love it every time I hop on, because I'm a narcissist and like being a part of things. Yeah, fuck you. Look, Kank, I'm going to be real. I'm new to this, and this is the best shit ever. And the fact that you're burnt out on it makes me laugh. Yeah, because it's like, I'm trying to come up with issues I can think of that affect me, but I can't really think of that much. Just think of petty bullshit. Uh, yeah, hold on, I can think of one. Uh, fucking Riley going in the fucking recording chat right now. Second issue cringe. Yeah, he's right. You're it's kind of like... Bro. It's kind of like, as much as we love Riley, he he sometimes needs to know, sometimes it's nice to take breaks. You know what? No, I disagree. 100%. Plus, it would be also nice to get some fresh faces, like, do, like, an actual, like, show where we, like, rotate hosts. Here we are. You got two new hosts. We're fucking in it deep. And I'm here. I'm here to stay, and I fucking love this shit. I love it too, but sometimes it just gets annoying after a while, you know? You know, I think 
I think for a show like this, you have to pick the pettiest part of your day. The pettiest part of your week and make that an issue. That's what I came here with. I came here with the salt burger. Does anyone give a fuck that I ate a burger made of salt? No. But it it happened to me, and I made sure people knew about it. I mean, I guess I could say trying to put up with O'Reilly is a great thing. O'Reilly, if you're listening to this, we're just kidding, buddy. We love you, but sometimes... There are times where we do want to kick you in the dick a little bit. Yeah, kick your friend. Beat them up. Make that an issue. My friend got too bloody because I beat him up too much. Tit, that's how I fractured another knuckle was beating the shit out of Riley. <laughs> exactly! Nah, no, you... Sorry, King. I think you're too doomer on this. There is infinite potential to this show. You just gotta be willing to go deep. I, it's like, it's not that I'm too doomer. It's just like, I, I, like, I'm like i more jaded than anything. And I get it. Like, I've been listening to this fucking podcast. I've seen how the shit it's run through. But I think there's still something here. It's like, honestly, like, I've come up, I've come to, like, I've had so much shit happen to me. It's kind of like, I've come to the... It is what it is, the mindset conclusion, basically. Like, something goes wrong, I just say, nah, fuck it, it is what it is. I also think, Kang, it's no accident that most people have resorted to minimally appearing and just coming on for once per month. Yeah. And that's why I'm here. I'm going to prove to all of you, the most petty shit in your life is an issue, and it does matter. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make you realize this show is ascendant. Fuck you. Fuck you, (laughs) Kang. This show is great. There's nothing to burn out on. You just don't have enough imagination. And in the future, they're going to look back at the issue crew, and they're going to be like, yeah, there's a couple different spots which are a little bit dicey, but definitely when the (laughs) Morphicus kid joined, then it just went completely down. Yeah, this kid, this kid here, this kid says it. This show has the potential to be everything. You could do it. Kang, the worst, most petty shit in your life. That is an issue. That's the best part of uh, old biggest problem, honestly, is uh, Dick, uh, Dick would just show up with whatever the hell just fucking happened, and then that would be a problem. Yeah, and it would still get fucking voted up. Dick show up with what happened an hour ago. And Dick would make it the entire show. And what killed it was Maddox being mad at Dick for being so good at making what happened an hour ago the entire show. He <laughs> was unprepared. I'm prepared. I have big issues for society. Yep. Well, but you that's know, my King, issue podcast. For now. That. King, that's that's the best part of a show like this. It's the old versus new blood, right? Even this, this is content. You can't escape it. It's all content. Yep. As long as you speak, it's feeding into it, and this show will never end. It's so a good time to. Violent. It's a good time to mention that I've never seen uh, the biggest problem. Me neither. Movie. You know what? I've based, never seen it. Based. I just know exactly who Maddox is because I've watched enough fucking dick show to know who Maddox is. You can't. The biggest problem is kind of worth it. You Vito. just gotta watch the. Uh... You gotta watch the the one that the uncucked version and then you're good. Vito, on the new biggest problem, every day fucking dick comes with a new bit. And Vito, he doesn't want to be part of the bit. But every now and then he's part of the bit because you can't escape it. Once there is a content solution, there is content forever. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Yep. Yeah. Just had a fucking King of the Hill moment on that right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nope. Yep. I love podcasting. I love the internet. I love everyone 
watching, and I love everyone who will watch. This shit's great. This shit will never stop. This is a fucking endless madness cycle that will never be unraveled by people beyond ourselves. You're out of the crew. And Riley, Riley comes back because Riley can't fucking let go of this shit. Riley, yeah, Riley is beauty. doing a he's he's doing a meta um, podcast FOMO bit. Does anyone he's... even understand? <laughs> How I figured if I, I figured if I came in muted with the mobile icon next to me, you all would just understand that I was just putting this on as I fell asleep. Uh, but Riley, clearly... Riley, do you understand that in a thousand years, some AI that was scraping the internet would find your show and hear us here, and it would define the entire AI? I've done it. This is it. This is madness. Riley, this is this is who you let in the crew. Yeah, I'm just gonna let the A. I'm I'm just gonna get an AI and let the AI do the talking for me. No, I'm done. I, I have nothing else to say. This is beautiful. I love this fucking show. All right, ban, ban one Captain thing. Blackbread. I heard you, Captain Blackbread. Ban that. Guy. Yeah, ban him. He sucks. I love him, but he sucks. You love me because <laughs> I suck, and I suck good. Oh whoa. Gay, gay. Uh, is Mo Diggity back? Or is he just pissing for 15 oh, minutes? No, I, I've been back. Everyone else is talking, so I don't want to talk over everyone's shit. Mo, what's your problem? It's still going. Yeah, Mo, no, sorry, no, sorry, 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 sorry. No, let me, let me rephrase that. Mo, what is your issue? All right, is everyone done with this? Uh, uh, is everyone else done with their issue then? Absolutely. Yes, and, I, and I'm done. Right. I'm, I'm muting and I'm going to sleep. Good night, everybody. All right. Okay, so here's one. And uh, I don't know if it's quite Doomer, but maybe I'm just freaking out at the uh, finality of everything. But okay, so I was born like 1980, right? So I've been around for like just a little bit. And I've been noticing a lot of disturbing things that are just starting to happen this year. Fellas, my issue is everything old is dying. And it's kind of crazy because everything... Like, you hear about generations dying, right? But, like, their uh, their landmarks, their ideas, the culture, the this and that... And even silly things like restaurants and uh, places you used to shop at or uh, uh, places of, like, sig significant importance. Like, uh, okay, ha have any of you ever experienced this? You grew up in the uh, the town or the city that you lived in, right? And in your area, there's, like, a, a freaking store or, like, a, you know, like a comic book store or, like, a convenience store or just something that you've liked that you've gone into the like like past 10 15 years and you'll move away and you'll be gone for like an amount of time like let's say you were gone five years and then all of a sudden you come back to town and you see like half of it has gone under and uh things are, are replaced like i remember there was a, a a grocery store i used to go to and they went tits up and then there was this, like, weird, like, obscure major brand chain that came into town. And too long, don't read on that. They were busted uh, trying to raise prices up. And then going, oh, like, uh, they, they would have a price on something for, like, a while. And then they would raise the price up. And then a month later, the price, the object would go, quote-unquote, on sale for the original price, right? And someone went in there and picked away at the uh, the price tag, and they found the original price under there. It was like a whole fucking scandal. Everyone stopped shopping there, and everyone just and the, the the place went tits up. And the shitty grocery store that came in as their competitor ended up surviving and became the only thing in town, right? Right. So things like are dying and they're being replaced with more mediocre fucking content, right? Like, you look at the gaming industry. Like, I was there, like, not at the very, very beginning of, like, the, the rise, the, the, the real beginning peak 
of gaming, but God, I was there for like almost all of it. I was there for the entirety of the internet. I was there for like significant social events and shit. And uh, I, I've been noticing, I've been uh, trying not to like get all doomer and, and doom and gloom on uh, YouTube, but I watched one video of uh, this uh, 92-year-old trucking company that's an American standard in trucks, uh, you know, for trucking and truckers and stuff. It's It filed for Chapter 7 liquidation, which just means there was just, it, it just went fucking tits up, right? Uh, a lot of, I, I started also uh, watching, like, old, like, uh, commercials and stuff. Or, like, watching old YouTube videos that are, like, crazy stuff from the 90s. Check out this advert for Sizzler or for this and that and Boston Market. And then there will be another video right after that. The top 10 chains in America that are going under. And it's all the fucking ones that I've loved since I was a kid, right? And they're being replaced with much mediocre, much lackluster sort of... uh uh, 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 options, I guess. Like, you watch the rise and then the, the stagnation, maybe not necessarily the fall of, like, a thing that you really like, and then something, like, less significant, like, if you like that game store, and then there's a GameStop and it drives it out of town, and I went to a GameStop earlier today because I was feeling a little nostalgic. Dude, it's like a husk, uh, like, half the shelves are empty, None of the games I really want to either play, or maybe there's a few I already own. And I look to the future, and I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, because I don't know if the future is going to be so bright anymore, you know? Like, all I see are, like, really, really dark times ahead. And I grew up as the generation... Uh, I, I grew up being told that my generation... Like, I'm the very, very tail end of the Gen Xers, right? Um, we are told, yeah, you're gonna get America. You know, you're gonna get this wonderful country. You know, you're gonna get this and that, and you're gonna be the future. Like, dude, all the fucking generations before me are still in charge. They, they, they refuse to retire. Uh... These fucking boomers and then the boomer boomers have taken all the capitalism, all the really good like tenants and times of socialist fucking policies and all that. And they're taking it, they're putting it in their fucking pockets and they're kicking the fucking ladder. And we're watching the fucking cr country crumble right now because of it. Uh, we're being told by uh, headlines that the economy isn't the problem. You are. You're the problem. You're spending too much on frivolous stuff, and then the frivolous stuff will be groceries, bills, and rent, your fucking car note. I'm like, you, you like, if you, if you hate journalists, believe me, you don't hate them enough. You're not hating hard enough. <laughs> Because that's exactly how I fucking feel every single time. Because, like, not only is my past and, well, like, the, the past that I grew up with, it, it's fucking being murdered right in front of me, right? And all, like, er, er, it's it's being replaced with a more sterile, more, like, bland, uninspired sort of alternative and i'm sure if you guys look into your towns and look to your cities and all that and you uh, give yourself time to think about your past and what was there beforehand and all that like uh you notice how a lot of our options for cool little things are sort of like going away and like uh take movie uh uh rental places or uh places to buy movies and shit uh, physical media. There, there we go. Maybe that's a more succinct, better uh, version of that. Physical media is being fucking murdered execution style uh, in the fucking streets, and we're supposed to accept it because, like, digital is nice and all that. But <clears throat> and there's like a hundred different examples. Just if you Google uh, digital censorship of past games, like uh, the GTA. Uh, the the Grand Theft Auto uh, 
a remake that just came out a couple of years ago that has some censorship in there uh world of warcraft uh there's censorship in there they removed uh lines and quest lines and stuff uh <laughs> pardon me there's a uh, a scantily clad like a few scantily clad pictures of women uh, like just uh, in a corner tucked in a corner this is how obsessive people are it was tucked in a corner of some random hut in a huge populated, hugely populated player area, and they fucking found it, made a huge fuss about it and, uh, on the forums, and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, you made me feel comfortable. Oh, my lord, my god, I offended thee. Oh, oh my god, no, no scantily clad women in my MMORPG. Oh, oh say, my god, yeah, and it's, it's not even not safe horny. Yeah, it, it, it's not just that, but it's it's also other shit, right? Like, our our options are dwindling. Like, we used to have so many phone companies, right? Like, you had your choice. You had, like, a fucking big plate full of, like, people that or companies that you wanted. Now, I think we got, like, maybe, like, four, maybe five of them. And there was, like, ten or eleven of them. And then, uh, you know... I, I, I like I, I love wrestling also, and sometimes like I'll watch like old old episodes of like a wrestling show that I really like, right? And every once in a while, you'll see like a YouTube video with uh, the commercials from that time still on there, and I'm like, oh, I remember that, and like the ones that hit me hard are like the game dev studios, like when I see nine eight nine studios. I like I miss that man. I miss old EA too, and uh, you know it, it's it sucks because uh, yeah, like our towns are they're still populated, but they're all being. Like, I'm not citing a conspiracy or anything, right? I'm I'm just saying that the, like shit is changing, and I don't necessarily know if it's a good thing or if we're headed into a good direction or not, because. It seems like it's going to be a fucking dark path for us, right? And so, sort of to wrap this up, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I wish that what I had when I was younger existed in in an even bigger, more popular form for a while. You know, in my like well into my thirties, so I can at least enjoy that. Like, uh, I get sad whenever everyone talks about uh fucking Celebration Station, uh fucking Funko Land. Uh, uh, th there's like a few like really cool like uh are are like I miss arcades, right? Arcades were so much fun, and you know, like all the shit I used to talk about them. Malls are fun too, and the mall that I have near me is—it's still got stuff in there, but it's—it's it's nothing that I would ever brag, you know, about. And it's—it's it's mainly a bunch of shoe stores, like shitty, like resale stores that like single moms and grandmas and stuff go into. I don't know how to explain it. If you go in there, sort of like, hey. Here's a, a pair of uh, men's shoes that are really nondescript. <laughs> and then on the racks will be like, you know, like a, a, a nice looking spatula, a fucking tea set no one has or cares about. You know, those little objects like grandma and single mom stuff, you know. Uh, and, and for some reason or another, maybe there's a, a thing. God damn it, Kane. <laughs> Mute Sorry, your notifications. <laughs> All right. Um, there's a real disturbing trend I've seen still in, in these. Uh, maybe you've seen these these in the mall. Let me know if you did. Calendar stores. It's so fucking weird. I, I like there was like four, there has been four calendar stores in my local mall. I'm like, bro, like who even needs a fucking calendar nowadays? That's that's so weird. Like, maybe there's just a niche market, and there's just people that really uh, want to fucking ha have, a, like, a eight different cat fucking calendars, you know what I mean? So it's, yeah, man, uh, my past is dying, and it's being replaced with, well, my, my childhood and America's past is dying in front of me, and the, uh, the falseness of the world has really been setting in lately, 
and it's extremely disappointing and I'm not looking forward to the future because the future doesn't feel so bright. No, no, not so ever, honestly. Bruh, you just, like, explain the entire future of humanity. How does it feel? Uh, it, it feels pretty fucking ba- awful, man. I, I don't know if I'm going to be enjoying this or not. Like, uh, all right, like it's, it, it's kind of like, okay, well, we're not going to be dystopian, but we're going to have, like, shitty behavior from the population and nothing's going to get done. And while I mean, you're all bickering over your breads and circuses and stuff, uh, we're, we're going to limit your options for, you know, uh, you know, like stuff, you know, just think about something right now that you really want to do and realize 15 years ago, you had a lot more in to choose from in that thing that you're thinking about. I mean, there's, there's going to be independent projects though, right? Well, like, yeah, that's that's a beautiful thing about that. I'm really happy that like indie animation's really taken off. You know, you have Hell like, of a Boss, uh fucking uh, Amazing Digital Circus no, just no. dropped its second episode. No, has been hotel cool even. Yeah, Hasman Hotel. Yeah, has been hotel. Nope, has been hotel was totally <laughs> like fuck in my opinion as to what it could have been. Well, no, I I think Amazon kind of fucked that up a little bit, but I think if we just, like, take what we got right now, it's pretty fucking awesome, and I really do enjoy that. Everyone talks about Amazing Space is a better thing to wait for. But Glitch, the other show they made, the fucking Murder Robots, Yeah, Murder Drones. 10 out of fucking 10. It is such a good series, and everyone should watch it. But they never got fucking big on it. They got big on the No, it's Walter huge. What are you Ran- talking about? No, no, no. They got big on the Walser Random Amazing Digital Circuit of shit. They got a lot of people on the murder drones, but they did not get nearly enough. If you have not watched Well, I, I got to I got to hardly disagree dude, hardly disagree dude, with you right there. The so hype good. for murder I drones I agree with you. Is it's fucking so huge. Good. But if you look at the viewer numbers, more people need to fucking watch it. Because it's 10 out of 10. Well, like, I, I think, like, the everything that you're getting from, uh, you know, the Amazing Digital Circus and Murder Drones, it's all going to trickle down to one another. I mean, it's it's going to, like, uh, fucking even itself out. I mean, well, there, the there's... Hope, uh, right? Yeah, I mean, like, that's the hope, anyway, is the trickle-down views. Look, I'm building a, I'm building a small VTuber empire called Cock. Chosen as Pinnacle <laughs> Kin. And uh, if anyone wants to fucking watch it, go ahead. We've got great, great well, content. I'm I'm making a fucking comic. I'm putting a comic together. I hope I hope it's. I'm good. writing a and book, if, which I sadly lost in the process of crashing Mo, the computer. Look, I'm sorry. I haven't really been around. I I have to work all week. I'm sorry. For I what? I'd love to help you write it. Oh, oh, yeah, man, I, I don't care, we're not, uh, like, it's super chill, you know, we're just having fun. I know, but you, like, you talked about wanting to help write it, and I've been not around. I feel bad about that. No, I it's fine, love- we'll, we'll, we'll talk inside baseball later on, though. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, me. I like, would love to do one of the uh, comic dubs, if you're looking for a comic dub guy. And, and uh, just, just to anyone watching, the uh, cock discord is up. Please join. We need more people to just talk about nothing. <laughs> you should probably send me an invite. That. You should probably know that will. issue you brought up. Uh, Mo, say what now? You know how we write down the issues. Oh, for... where, where where do we uh, uh, put this topic suggestions or episode discussion in recording chat? Oh, Brother, is this recording. your first episode, Mo? No, I, I just, I, uh, no one's read that. Wait, where is everyone's fucking? No one's written down their, uh, their stuff today. Go on the uh, recording chat right it's now. It's in recording chat. Scroll down. Yeah, I'm scroll down. I still see just the uh, the bots. Blame Riley. For, uh... oh, God, no, Mo, Mo, your issue is completely right though. People need to fucking build their own ship. Because no, that's no, what it's happened. On, it's on recording chat at the very bottom. Because well, that's what happened, right? Like all the boomers, they got they built their own things, and then they no, never built I anything else. Chat, Mo. 
and what happened is everyone pulled up the ladder, and now we have a culture where it's really old shit and really untested shit. And Mo, the really fucking... untested stuff is not good. I'm gonna be real, even me, even my shit, is not good. Because everything is super untested. Because that's all you can do right now. Yeah, it's... it's, I, it's... Go ahead. It, it's either you uh, you have been in the industry for 20 years, or you have been in the industry for one month. And no, what? there's no fucking in between. Yeah, it, it kind of fucking sucks the way uh, things are going right now. And uh, we, we, don't, we also... Like... I'm just, I, I see, like, kind of, like, our country or maybe just our world in general. It's like we all decided that we are going to go skydiving, but we just preemptively opened the door and just jumped out the window. Or jumped out the fucking door without putting the fucking parachute on. And we haven't noticed that we haven't put the parachute on before we jumped. So, you know, we're, we're having to go, we're going to have to deal with that here because the high speed dirt's fucking coming as fast. But like, there are groups. Hell yeah! Like even beside my group, there are groups trying to fix this. And I mean, like when the boomers were kids, right? There were groups trying to fix it then. Like this is a constant issue in society. We always have like the old shit sucks. They're always burning everything that's good, and the new shit's coming in, and it sucks a little, but it's okay. It just keeps happening, and that's the that's the cycle of the world, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know. Um, hopefully, I'm just being cynical and and weird about it, but you know, maybe, maybe not. Hey, you're right about a little bit though, because I'd like to bring up something I can something I could get ten years ago that I can't now. R one thirty four A Freon, basically to recharge your AC. Can't do that in Washington State, and I think a couple others too. I had to go to another state to fucking get it. Oh, and, uh, for anti-terrorism uh, uh, terrorism reasons? No, they think that we're too stupid, and we're just gonna spray it out into the air. That's stupid. Oh, of course. Yep, I I hate fucking Washington State. It's just so fucking dumb. Everywhere that isn't across the mountains is basically Seattle. Come to a flyover state. Uh, there's a certain one I'd invite you to, but I can't say it publicly. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, you got like 49 shots. Well, exactly, right? They'll figure it out eventually. Yeah. Uh, it's it's getting out is the problem. So um, I'm going to say, Mo, your your problem is incredibly valid. It's hard to escape the some places 40, if you're already there. The hard price to save is- up and go. The price is about 20000 and you're going to have to accept a house that's near condemned. That's what we had to do in our little studio. Uh, but with three to four people, it works. Jesus, what, do you live in Michigan or Chicago? <laughs> uh, we live in worse, but I can't say because there's Detroit. about... Detroit? <laughs> there's not enough people in the state for me to tell you what state I live in. Wyoming? West Virginia. I cannot say. Like, I'm serious. We, you make me want to guess, though, because it's like you're no, dropping me in. I know, I know, I know. But I'm like, compelled. Please stop. I will not say. <laughs> I cannot say because it will actually fuck us over. But we we spend mm. enough money, about 20000 ish on a house. We have been trying to fix it the entire time. And let me tell you... uh. American laws on what, like, you need for electrical is the most bullshit shit ever. Oh, you want to fix your fucking electrical because it's a fire hazard? Well, you need an electrician, but... But the only electricians in the state will not go to where you live. So, uh, go fuck yourself. You're gonna burn to death. What you need to do is... Uh, you need to just do it yourself and then tell them an electrician you can't. can't. Like, how are yeah, they going to fucking prove that? Yeah, no, 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 no. no we've been doing problem. that here in Texas for, like, generations, the man. We just lie. Is you cannot do it yourself because the part we need can only be obtained by an electrician. And even further, we cannot have the power turned off unless an electrician approves the power being turned off. What the what fuck? What state is this? 
Hell, uh, I can't if I want to turn you. the if I want to shut the power off to my house, I have a breaker. I can do that. No, no, no. We can turn the breaker off. But if we want the line power turned off to our house, that's a whole another thing. Oh, just tell them you have an electrician there already. Like no, they're not a fucking detective. No, like I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be completely clear with you. We for what we need, we cannot do that. But do you not have an prov- electrical provider that you could just call up and go, no, "Hey, I'm done." No, no, no. They're all fucking dead. They all died fucking years ago, and the only ones left are uh, in a city that will not come to us. Well, how are you getting electric- well, Ohio electricity? Ohio, where the spill happens. We are. We That's have half dead. power right now. Um, we have jury rigged our electrical to just barely contain our computers. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, damn. I don't know what state you're in, but dude, you you might need to get the fuck out of there. No, no, and that's the worst part. This is the best place to live. No, I, I think you have like no, no, forty-nine no, no, no. other no, states no, no. that you could choose from. Bo, we have done the research. It gets worse from here. The Amer the American dream is dead. It is all bureaucracy from here. And if you don't live in uh where we live, uh it gets worse. No, bro, I- I'm 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 telling you, like Texas is fine, Louisiana is fine, Florida is fine, the fucking South more or less is fine. Fuck it's all these South. fucking northern and fucking all, like West no, no, Coast no, no, fucking no. states that no, are having these the problems. South, it's all the fucking welfare state, but for the right. I'm telling you. Yeah, so what? It's Who cares? awful. Fuck taxes. We have no taxes here. We just have to fix our electrical. <laughs> no, I, I guarantee you have taxes there. Oh, we do. But it's small. It's very small. Yeah, yeah. Like our state ta- or like our state's taxes are fucking great. We don't even have an income tax or state tax or anything like that. We just like Good. do the IRS thing where boom. Like our shit's pretty painless. We got a great fucking tax uh uh set up here in Texas. I don't know. Texas looks like there's so many issues with Texas I don't wanna be there. But I mean Mo, not real well, like, Mo, 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 all right, all right, sorry. Mo, I promise you, the only issue is finding an electrician up here. Everything else has been wonderful. And I, I'm still up here. Okay? I'm just saying, fuck uh, any any building laws in any country. This shit is retarded. If you don't have people to support it and the laws still exist, you're fucking people. Alright, well, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, well, I think I've said everything I, I need to say. Uh, we're at the buck forty freaking mark. Does anyone else have any other uh, uh, any other things they want to bring in, or everyone do a problem or uh, an issue? I kind of do, and uh, it's a it's a small one. All right, um, Captain Blackbeard, uh, Black Red, go ahead. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. not an official problem, just something I wanted to bring up. Uh, when when people like give you free food, uh, and I mean like, hey, you got a friend who's like, hey, I got some extra bacon, because that's the situation. He's like, you want this fucking bacon i'm never gonna eat this one hell yeah dude we get it and then uh i throw it in the freezer and uh my soon-to-be wife pulls it out and she's like did you check the expiration date on this i'm like no she's like is it really from 2013 i'm like no fucking way it would look so fucking fucked up if it was and sure as shit i looked at the expiration date and it's uh, there (laughs) there it is fucking it's um it expired uh let's see November tenth, twenty thirteen. No fucking way. Yeah, and it still looks like it's edible, but I, I don't know. I, it was in a deep freeze, so and, and the other one was from twenty seventeen. Okay, it's well, like holy shit, this it's... is our fucking anniversary bacon. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about frozen food. Um, the moment you freeze anything, the expiration date is meaningless because you have broken that. Oh no, that's that's not true. I, I I've that's had the last plenty 10 of fucking meat. years, eleven years actually. Yeah, right. I, I've had plenty of frozen. beef that's spoiled because no, it just no, because it was true. frozen. That's true, but has it been frozen for eleven years? Because that changes the question. I have no idea. It's it wasn't my bacon before this. Oh God. <laughs> Oh God! You I'm holding a time capsule, and I don't because know. Because there is now a woman who says you should use the bacon, and the bacon is now mystery meat. What do you do? 
I, it still looks like bacon, but I'm not. I'm not fucking around with that, man. Like I'm not. I'm not about to be one of those YouTube channels that eats old meat, man. I'm good. I'll stay away wanna, from the fucking hundred year old bacon. If you want to do a mukbang on it, like how does it spell? I don't know. It's frozen. I'm not fucking with it. But it probably smells like old spam. Oh God. Yeah. Anyway, that's that. That's a good problem. Fuck old food. Fuck women. Issue. We don't do problems, remember? Yeah, sorry. That's what <laughs> I'm going to keep saying problem until you police me on it, though, because fuck you. Oh my god, uh, though. All right. <sighs> women who, like, say freezer food is okay when it is 10 to 20 years out of date. There is <laughs> nothing okay about that. Oh, she didn't say it was okay to eat. She asked me if I checked the expiration date. I was just going to open it and then use it. Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me you were in the wrong on this one? Yeah, no, somebody else gave me this bacon, right? They're just like, I'm never going to eat this bacon. Here, have it. I didn't think about looking at the expiration date. I'm like, yeah, it's, I mean, if it's a few years out of date, fine. I didn't realize it was 10 years out of date. Yeah, burn it. Burn it. Yeah, that's over like half a decade. Yep. Burn it. There's nothing to do with that. Burn it. Oh, dude, that's a great fucking idea. Next time I have a fire, I'll I'll just throw it in there and listen to it sizzle and just fuck yeah. the neighborhood, I guess. And then you take the ash, you put it in a mulch pile, and then, like, in a year or so, you have really, really good garden fucking shit. Yeah. I don't care enough to do that. That'll sure. probably just turn into some Chinese delicacy because exactly. I don't know why they did that with their the food. Million year egg. Yeah, <laughs> of a century bacon. Have y'all ever seen any of those YouTube or TikTok videos where they're opening up? They're opening up huge casks of wine that was uh, in like a like a Middle Eastern village or like some village like from about two three hundred years ago and they open it up and they have to go through this process because the process of uh of storing it and fermentation and all that yada yada it was still passed down from generation to generation so people still know how to do it correctly and uh they open this shit up they let it breathe for about 10 15 minutes and then they straight up just start drinking it yeah because that's supposed to be good for over like a century or two yeah, it looks like be you good do. for like ever. There have yeah, been uh, sci- there's scientists that uh, fucking found like ancient Roman wine or some shit, and uh, like some scientists want to like just take or want to test the liquid that's inside, but there but people are saying no, no, just never open it, leave it. It's sealed. It's good. Uh, some people want to test what's in there. Other people want to drink it, but yeah, they won't let them open it. That sucks. Yeah, you know what? I would be one of the people that want that wants to taste the several thousand year old wine. Yeah, might yeah, as well, I'm man. This. Give me wine. Want? Give. Yeah, I want to get thousand year old drunk. <laughs> uh all right, y'all. Uh, anyone else got anything to say before we wrap things up? Nope, uh-huh. I'm good. All, all right, the issues. All the issues today. They were all wonderful. Please vote. Vote oh, yeah. on what you really oh, yeah. thought was wonderful. And do I'm not vote on my issue. If anyone votes on my issue, I will find them personally. Hey, shut this whole ass up. Mo, we didn't run the rep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I'm trying to do right now. Uh, Captain Blackbread, where can they find you? Find me on YouTube at Captain Blackbread. Um... Otherwise, there's a weird route with the algorithm that you can fuck with, and that is to search for my music. Uh, search Your Bluff by Crisis Passing. Alrighty. Uh, Kang, where can they find ye? I heard that you were starting to stream on Twitch. Yep. You can find me at linktr.ee forward slash Grimrealm, where I will be, hopefully once I get the account back to that, I will hopefully be updating it a little more, and uh, you'll be able to find my socials, everything you want there. Uh, 
All righty. Uh, Random, where can they find you if you feel like pimping your stuff out? You can find me on Twitter at, at Random Candor. Random spelled the normal way, K-A-N-D-O-R-R. Don't forget the second R. And on YouTube, just search Random Candor with a K instead of the C for Candor. Thank you. Cool. Coo coo. Uh right you can find all the Riley stuff in the pin uh account in the uh nah, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, Riley. Fuck Riley. yeah, he left. Uh Warficus, where can they find you? You can find me at true of Warficus at twitter.com and about nowhere else right now. Alrighty. And you can find me at MSG YT Official, or maybe it's MSG Official YT. At most I gaming on Twitter. I got a link true with all my shit in there and the pin uh, in my description. So click on it, check it out. Or, you know, don't. In which case, go fuck yourself. <laughs> hey, anywho. Thanks for coming out. I really do appreciate it, everyone. Uh, uh, Riley started us off, but I'm ending us uh, here. Uh, my issue was the past being murdered. I'm Kang, and my issue was podcast burnout. I'm Worf, and my issue was toilet paper shrinkflation. Captain Blackbread, and my issue was dropping things into the fourth dimension. I'm Random, and my issue was delusional fans. Thank you very much, everybody. All right, all right. All right, been- I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Talk. Spend the issue crew, guys. Later. Is it is the issue crew. A crew of issues. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Where are the bots? How do you kill the bots? Oh, you just press. Uh, you just yell at them until they stop recording. Now hold on. I know how to oh, do here, that. here they are.